My name is Janelle Young and I am an artist here in Tampa. And like a lot of you, I lost studio access during this stay-at-home time. And so I'm really excited today to show you a process that I've been using uh, that you can just do at your kitchen table and in your backyard. A little bit about myself first. Uh, I'm originally from Dayton, Ohio. I received my Bachelor's of Fine Arts from the University of Dayton and then went on to get my MFA from the University of Georgia. And it was really in Georgia that my work took such a significant turn. Um, Georgia is just so different than Ohio and I was so intrigued by the natural world. Um, I started photographing in my backyard, kind of creating science experiments to explore the natural phenomenon around me. I would build cameras, photograph uh, fog, uh, the phenomenon of winter solstice, um, and then I moved to Florida. <laughs> and so I've been here about three and a half years. Um, it took a while as I first got here kind of to get into my group um, because Florida is so different than Georgia. Um, so once I got here, I just spent a lot of time kind of traveling around, going to the beach. Um, I started collecting things. I had no idea that palm trees uh, bloom, that they actually have flowers. So I started collecting those, rocks at the beach. Um, I also would travel to Kissimmee Prairie um, Preserve, and that's an international dark sky here in Florida, because I really miss the stars. Uh, we don't have a lot of stars in Tampa with the light pollution. Um, and so now, you know, because of my work significantly um, kind of is wrapped around traveling and going to different places in Florida and being outside, um, now I'm kind of stuck just in my backyard um, without a dark room. So much of my work revolves around um, kind of analog processes um, of photography. Uh, I'm very process orientated. I really like that kind of tactile, kind of hands-on response to it. Um, but one thing I can do here that's a really great process, uh, it's called lumen printing. And that's what I want to show you today. So a lumen print is a cameraless photography process where a piece of light sensitive paper is exposed to the sun's rays, uh, creating a one of a kind print. Uh, colors in lumen prints depend on botanicals, humidity, temperature, pH, duration and intensity of the sunlight, as well as the type of paper you use. Instead of a traditional dark room uh, photographic print, you don't put the lumens in a developer. So they don't look traditionally like black and white. Instead, um, you can see purples and blues and pinks and yellows. For this technique, you need to gather up your supplies. You need some light sensitive uh, silver gelatin paper. I like to use expired paper. Uh, if you have a fresh box of paper from this semester, if you were taking a class currently, uh, obviously don't open that paper up in the light. Uh, go into a closet or somewhere completely dark just to pull out a couple pieces um, of paper to use. Uh, that way you don't ruin your whole box of paper uh, so you can use it later in the dark room. You want some sort of contact frame. You can use a traditional contact frame or use plexi and glass. Uh, you want to get a good contact though between your paper and the botanicals, so you can use clamps or you can even weight the plexi down with rocks. Next you want to plan out the botanicals, the objects, transparencies, uh, whatever you would like to use. Um, the juiciness of a flower really does play a role in this process, uh, as well as the pH balance of it and the pH balance of the paper and everything. Um, so you can kind of play around if you want with uh, spraying it with water, uh, using some vinegar or baking soda. Once you have everything gathered and you have planned out your composition, in subdued light, get a piece of photographic paper and place your material onto the emulsion side of the paper and secure it in your contact frame. Take the contact frame outside and then put it in direct sunlight. Uh, once you're outside, you got to decide, um, or really you should do this before you get out there, but decide how long you want to leave it in the sunlight uh, if you have really delicate flowers, try like five minutes first, uh, see how much you like that result. Uh, some people leave their lumens out all day even. Um, I like to start with five minutes and then I just kind of bump up my exposure for the next print, you know, in increments of five minutes as I go. 
While you're outside working, uh, one thing that you also have to be a little cautious about is that it is extremely hot outside already at this time of year. Um, and so, you know, if you have a 15 minute exposure, you know, and you're sitting outside with it, obviously wear some sunscreen. Um, but you also have to be really careful when you go and grab your contact frame because that could be extremely hot. Um, so sometimes you might even want to take some pot holders or put it in the shade, let it cool off for a couple minutes before bringing it inside and trying to work with it. Um, also, don't accidentally start any fires uh, <laughs> with your lumen print. Um, I can speak a little bit from experience. Uh, I once had a lumen print kind of um, sitting up against the side of a building, kind of like, you know, at a diagonal and the sun hit it so perfectly and bounced off into this pile of mulch. And so after my 30 minute exposure, when I went back to get it, the mulch uh, was smoking. So be careful uh, when you're out there. I don't think that this is a dangerous process, but obviously you need to take some precautions. Once you get your uh, prints back inside, you want to just very delicately pull off the uh, botanicals. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of residue left behind. Um, just kind of like dust them off um, if you can. Um, you might need to clean your plexi before you go on to make a second print in case there's anything kind of left behind. Um, once you have a print that you like, uh, what are you supposed to do with it, right? Um, there's a couple different ways that photographers will handle lumens when they're finished. Um, you can either fix them like you would uh, with another photographic print, you know, when you're in the dark room. Uh, just don't pour your fixer down your drain uh, when we're home. Obviously, that's a biohazard. Um, but, you know, most photographers um, instead will scan the lumens and, um, you know, print them out then digitally later on. Um, and that's because when you do fix these prints, the fixer actually bleaches them and it changes a lot of your tones to different colors. Uh, so if you have anything that looks blue, it's not going to stay blue. Um, and instead it's going to turn probably like a purple, maybe a pink. Um, anything that you see that's really yellow, that might really fade. Um, and so traditionally a lot of photographers actually scan these when they're finished. Um, so don't worry if you don't have fixer, you don't need it for this process. Um, instead, just find a way that you can protect these prints uh, so that you can every now and again take them out and marvel at your creation. Um, I like to just keep some in, you know, black plastic light tight uh, bags, you know, the same bags that the photo paper uh, comes in. And that's it. <laughs> that was the Lumen process in a nutshell. So I hope that you all enjoyed this short little tutorial and that you are excited to go pick some flowers around your house and try it out. Uh, if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, you can also look at more of my artwork on my website. It's JanelleYoung.com and you can find my contact information there. All right, thanks. Stay safe. Bye.